Hello, today I'll show you how to make one of these memory games in Scratch. As you can see, when I click the green flag, then it will play one of these. Then I have to memorize. Just like that. And every time you get it right, you get a point. Like this, as you can see. So let's get started. First, delete the cat and paint a sprite. Name it Memory Game. Now, use the circle tool, make sure there is no outline, and make the fill a nice light gray color. Then press shift and drag out a nice perfect circle and make it a good size. Then name this one and then draw anything you would like on here. Then duplicate, delete and then draw a new character. Do this all the way until you have four. Now that you're done, duplicate one more time, name it Glow, delete everything, then select, except for the circle, then select Fill and Gradient, and make the left nothing and the right any color you want or similar color to these colors now in the code when green flag is clicked create a new block called create buttons and run without screen refresh now in here, hide, then set rotation style to don't rotate, point in direction 90, set size to 100, switch costume to 1, then create a new variable called id for this sprite only set id to 1 then repeat 4 times go to 0 0 then move 100 steps and create a clone of myself then rotate 90 degrees clockwise change id by 1 and next costume and at the end set ID to in for not clone now if you test it and add in a when I start as a clone show as you can see it will create this nice button layout now, for the sound system, click here, and then find music, then create a new block called play beat, then add it in an input called number, and don't have run without screen refresh. Now in here, Every time it plays, it will first change size by 10, then set ID to G for glow, create a clone of myself, and then set ID back to its costume number. Now down here 
set instrument to vibraphone or any other instrument you would like and now if then a equal if number equal one then play note 48 8 for 0 0.0001 beats but it'll still sound normal duplicate it this time 60 beats number 2 number 3 72 and lastly number 4 play for 96 and then at the bottom if number equals 0 or if you get it wrong then duplicate 75 duplicate it again this time 2 then duplicate it 124 and lastly duplicate and then 24 and if you it sounds like an error sound now now with this for the glowing system add in a if else and then not id equals g and then in the else go to front layer set size to zero switch costume to glow set ghost to 50 then repeat 10 times change ghost by 5 and change size by a divide subtract size here and then a 4 and 200 and delete this clone now if I if I do this as you can see it will play its own note and have that nice effect now for the main game now in here actually on here create two new variables called the score for all sprites set score to zero and cycle for all sprites and set cycle to one now make a list called beats for all sprites delete all of beats and then add pick random one to four two beats then lastly create another new variable called game mode for all sprites and set game mode to zero now back here add in a forever loop then uh, if else game mode equals zero then add in a if and now we check if id equals item cycle of beats and then add in a wait for a delay now play sound by id 
and then change cycles by one. Then we check if cycles equals length of beat plus one. And then in here, if so, set cycles to one and set game mode to one. Now, in the else, add in a if and then a and if touching mouse pointer and mouse down. Then wait until not mouse down. Then add in another if, actually if else. And now if else id equals item cycle of beats. Play sound duplicate this part, place it in here. And then, for this part, set game mode to 0, and then set cycle to 1. And then down here, also add in, actually here, change score by 1, then repeat 25 times duplicate the change size by and then change this to a hundred and place it here so that it will go back to its original size before switching to this game mode again and lastly adding in a pick random 1 to 4 to beat. And in the else, broadcast new message, game over. And when I receive game over, in here, stop other scripts from sprite, play beat 0. Then if id equals g, delete this clone, then repeat 10 times, change size by, a divide, subtract, same with this. but this time only 50 and change ghosts by 10 now if you test it as you can see it will play and then it will go but the size is a bit weird Oh yeah, and up here in the forever, make sure to add in a change size, change size by 100 subtracted by size divided by 4. And now the size should be less weird. And if you get it wrong, then the game will end like that. As you can see, the score system also works. And lastly, for the high score system, add in a forever loop and create a new variable called high score for all sprites. And set high score to score if score is greater than 
high score. Now if you test, as you can see, it'll go up. And if I restart the game, it will still display the high score. Now you have a nice sound memory game in Scratch. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.